I was the first video to ever reach 100 million views and I actually had the most watched video on YouTube for almost three years until Justin Bieber hit puberty. But that's a whole other story. Evolution of dance. <laughs> So when I first started my career as a professional speaker, it was in 1999, 2000 time frame while I was finishing up graduate school. Everyone has different types of things and it's something that becomes kind of your signature piece. That's what people will remember you for. It doesn't mean that they forget everything else. That just becomes kind of the easiest way to say, oh, you're the person that blank. figured out these are the 12 songs. I made a two and a half minute mix and this is in the maybe the spring of 2000. And I went and I performed it once and it went over really well. So then flash forward five years later, I was known as the guy who did that evolution of dance thing. So I uploaded that dance to YouTube, copied and pasted the HTML into my MySpace page and closed my computer and that was the end of the day. Now what took place before the actual dance that you see was you know, 14 minutes of me talking to 800 college students and then doing the dance in front of them. One day I woke up opened up my computer and I had uh, several email notifications from YouTube that said such and such user has liked your video. And I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. Went and looked at the video and it had like 19,000 views. And it was up to 30,000 views, 90,000 views. And there's a voicemail from a worker at YouTube. And it's just like, hey, the Today Show called us and asked us if we would give them your information. And I was like, what? Hell yeah. <laughs> Called him back and was like, you can share it with anybody that you want. And at that moment, I think it was kind of that, okay, this is something that's not normal. This is something that is catching on. And by the time I went on, it had gone from like half a million to 30 million views in that short period of time. You put your backside in and you shake it all about it. And I always wanted to be a speaker. That's all I've ever wanted to do. I was well on my way. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to ride everything that the video gives me. I'm going to say yes to as much as I possibly can that gets asked of me. And I'm just going to ride it out. And then I'll decide, okay, where do I want to go from here? And honestly, I I'm still riding. The great thing about music is music crosses barrier languages. You know, you can go to another country that does not speak English at all and you can play a song that's in English and they'll go nuts and they'll dance to it because they'll recognize that song, even if they don't know all the words. The way dances make it into the mix is if you saw the dance with no music, could you still tell me what song's being played? There's no song to go with the floss. There's no song to go with all the Fortnite dances. <laughs> There's no song to go with twerking. So those never made it in. So the newest song that's in, so the last song that happens is Hotline Bling. So when, when he was just like dancing around in a circle and like that. Some adults don't get it. The Stanky Leg, the Bernie, Single Ladies, uh, Gangnam Style, uh, there's a uh, Call Me Maybes in there for a second. And so those are kind of the ones that have come in in the last 13 years. Everybody's got to know what it is without hearing the song. <laughs>